Okay, so our director's meeting, we're about half hour getting late started. Um, so, and I apologize, that's my deal. I don't know, again, I, I got a little bit lost as we do sometimes in the weekend. So, um, what, uh, so what I wanted to do was to, um, we did, just to sort of give you guys a, a good snapshot of where the organization is right now. Um, two, that was, we are, and I was just thinking about this because I just messaged, um, on the last meeting, Christina and Nicole had that video from Yvette, you know, Yvette Yeomans, that she did that thing, mm -hmm. which was really fun. And so I reached out to Yvette and just thanked her, because she's, you know, a friend of mine, and just thanked her for, um, you know, for sharing and that kind of thing. But she, uh, so we were talking a little bit and she was asking where we were for executive. And so I um, was able to tell her, which was pretty fun, but um, I was gonna tell you what our number actually was, what I said. We are eight and one. Uh, we have eight first line and one second line. So that's pretty fun to be when we only need six and two to get up to that executive part. So um, so that was sort of fun to share that with her. Um, so with Heidi bumping up, which is really exciting, and all of these teams really growing, um, we're just, I think, at a really great place. Um, we are, I'm working with, for second lines, we've got um, Jen, you have at least, I mean, I would say Megan's probably the closest, Megan Trendy, but Katrina definitely wants to, you know, keep working and Bree is out there, but I know she doesn't always have the commitment because of everything else she has going on. Um, and Katrina mentioned she has a couple potentials too. Yeah, oh, I'm sure she does because we've been working on this. So yeah. I think that she, I wouldn't doubt that. She, you know, her and I have talked a little bit one-on-one -on -one too. Um, but then I also, on Ashley's, we've got three that I'm working with on Ashley's team. Um, Elaine has a brand new one that's a pretty uh, Spitfire one as well. And I'm thinking that that is, I think that might be where, so, oh, and then Marcy's Victoria. Victoria has her five. It's just a matter if they're all going to come around. So she's working on recruiting and stuff too. So we're in pretty good shape. It would be really great to be able to do it by conference again, because then we have, um, we'd have the assigned tables for meals and, you know, some assigned seating and some of that special stuff. So that's what I would love for us to have as a, as an organization. So that being said though, you know, we just need to be there for June and July. So, you know, we need teams to be green and have the six and two for two months, June and July, which I'm telling you, if we can do that as an organization, that's quite the feat anyway. So um, that would be, I think, really exciting. So just wanted to give you that sort of snapshot, but then to talk about some things that are going on. The one thing that I wanna talk about um, before we go into the other things is conference and how we're gonna deal with that. I think we need to talk about that as a team. I think that your post, Ben, Jen and I talked at the beginning of the month, and she's doing the conference campaign. If you see that every month on the, or every day on the organization page or every couple of days, there's some sort of a post with the event. And I, we've had a few people, I know Amy had Michelle Chick all of a sudden sign up and I, it like was spurred, I think, mm -hmm. because these posts. Um, and I know, and Elaine, you're on here, you're the one who hasn't been to conference before, but I know that there's other directors on this that will be maybe listening to it that have not been to conference and maybe are not able to go even this year. We know that if consultants go to conference, their businesses change. And um, I would, I almost wonder, Jen, I know you've got a full plate. If there was some evening you could go on and do a Facebook Live and do your testimony about conference, like really just verbally, because you always have a great one, um, but just to sort of, you know, uh, to get them to personally, um, you know, to, to just to personally hear that and to know how much of a difference conference can make for people's business. Um, so that's, I guess, what I wanted to make sure that all directors, whether they're going or they haven't gone, and Elaine, you're just going to have to take our word for it, that it, it, but I know you're excited about it and your team's excited about it, but to specifically talk to everybody on the team about, um, you know, making that, um, 
and it, making that happen. But here's what I'm concerned about is uh, not concerned. But last year we did a lot like with hotels, like one person was in charge of the hotels and when we have so many people going, I think that that would be really difficult. I was thinking for lodging that if we maybe each sort of are in charge of getting and making reservations and stuff for our own teams and taking care of lodging, not taking care of it, but like making sure that it's set up for our own teams or at least telling your team to go to this place and get the hotel. You know what I mean? This is how to make your lodging. Whether you decide to make their um, their their reservations for everybody, or if you just want to make sure, you know, sort of set them up and say, okay. Because sometimes the problem is they don't know everybody. And let's say that you you only have two people on your team going to put out in the thing and say, we have two people. Does another team only have two people so that we could join people up in rooms? But I just think it's too much for one person to be in charge. Do you agree? Yes. I got a room because I was afraid yeah. of waiting. So I have one, um, but I think we're already overfilled. So I think we need another one, but I would need somebody else to get it because you can only get, you're only allowed to, to do one. Uh, do one. Okay. Yeah. Well, and that's what I think we need to pick maybe, and maybe we do, we start a little thing on the director's page with how many direct, you know, how many rooms we do have. And if we need to get somebody like, I know on my team, like Shannon already has a, a room. I know for at least her and um, Gwendy. And again, she's somebody that's been around the block. So she's not a director, but she knows what to do. I have not gotten a room yet. Amy and I were just talking about, because I think the only thing that says it's got rooms and it's actually waitlisted is the lows right now. But I think she saw in Travelocity, we could get a room at the loft or a loft or something. Where are you, Jen? Where's your room at? I think it's the Hyatt. It is at the Hyatt, yeah. So does so it matter which hotel it's at? No, just as long as it's in that area in Chicago. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And it's nice to be all together, but unless you pre-plan that when when lodging opened, it's kind of impossible. Mm -hmm. to do. Well, yeah. We booked a, we booked a room months ago at at the um, Marriott because we have so many Marriott points, and we're like platinum members with Marriott. So we we've got our room set up. And um, one of one person, Jen Boldick, actually asked if, if she could join us in the room with us. With who? You and David? Yeah, David's okay. coming with me. Okay. The whole the whole thing was last year. I didn't go to convention, and, or conference, and and I told David that I was going this year. And I said, if I'm if I'm director before we before conference, I said you're coming with me. He's like, okay. <laughs> That's so, awesome. Well, Jen could, I'm sure, book room with you guys, or I'm sure we could find a space for her in one of the other rooms. You know what I mean? We could do... Yeah, I, I don't mind sharing. What, here's the thing is that because we don't have a suite and we've got, I mean, I would love to have a place for us all to sort of meet and do something, um, but that would, that's another reason to, if we were at executive, that we'd get a team time room to be able to do something. Um, so... That being said, too, that, you know, but if that doesn't happen, then we're going to have to try to make some sort of plans. Because I think that that's so important uh, to do something so that everybody can sort of get together and meet each other and, you know, do mm -hmm. something. So it's, I mean, that's something that I will work on and have sort of on my plate is to figure that out. Even if, you know, we do get into the team time thing, to have any food, you have to get it through the convention center, which I guess is quite expensive than what I usually do is just order pizzas and stuff. But, um, so, you know, but we could, post? huh? Did you see Dot's post? I did. Um, so I don't know what her response has been to that, what they actually want to do. And I, she, I mean, she doesn't have a whole lot of people either. So I don't know what. Can I say something about that? I don't know if that's in reference to last year. I had a lot of conversations with Cindy Nichols. I know was really upset about the lack of the team time from Dot's perspective. My thing is, is and Jen, you probably don't remember. I don't know if you were around when we used to do the whole dinners and everything else like that. The team times as they were after we stopped doing the dinners 
to me were stupid. Mm -hmm. Like I would rather do like what we've done in the past. I know we have some different restrictions um, on what's possible as far as the pizza and getting together just as our team. Um, I think it's valuable for people to see these other people like, like Cindy Nichols and, and Cindy Obi and, and Jeannie Schultzbach and all these people that are from all over the place that are technically in our organization. I, I'm just looking at valuable use of time here. Okay, and so that's a great point because I, she would be very um, receptive, I think, if I told her what, because we've been talking and stuff. If I said, if we have to be with her to say, this would be a really, why don't we do it like this? This is why that team time has sucked so much because of all that recognition. I think we, do we do some recognition at that team time or no? We did, we have. We've done like well, within our like small last year. Yes, we did it. Remember we sat there, we did it all like the little, um, like the top five or whatever that of the people mm -hmm. that were there. Yeah, and yeah. I think that's more meaningful because generally when you're talking about the larger organization, um, these people don't know anybody. Do you know what yeah. I mean? Like our people don't know who Cindy is or yeah. anything like that. So if they're up there, it's like, uh. But if we, I'm just thinking, but what I've tried to do in our little team times, even though we're eating and stuff and that's what's fun, but we do, you know, we sit around in a circle. We're not in that like, you know, cut, but then we also do some fun activities, you know. Well, some, I think it's a time for us to get to know, I mean, because there's a lot of people in our own organization, especially since we're doing our meetings virtually now, mm -hmm. they don't know each other. So that's mm -hmm. what's been fun is that we've been able to, you know, you've had some fun little activities where we've had to do things with our names and, you know, yeah. that kind of, if people are crying, whatever, that's a lot of Yeah, fun. we like crying. We like when there's a lot of crying. Or we <laughs> but, like a lot of laughter. And we we used to do fun stuff in that dinner thing that's, that we used to make us I'm laugh. Saying. There was more to that dinner than mm -hmm. just sitting there and like, yeah, like sitting in another meeting of like, I, I just will come out of those going, that's a freaking waste of time. Mm -hmm. But I get what Cindy was saying. She was really disappointed last year because I think, did she have some? It was Christina Bailey. Oh, no, yeah, Cindy Nichols Cindy did Nichols. have a new director. Yeah, yeah. She had a new director. She had some new people there. I think she had achieved something last yeah. year for the first time that I think she was looking for some personal recognition. So, I mean, I get where she's coming from because I don't think Dot did anything. Yeah. No, what I'm saying. Didn't. So it wasn't even like on a minor scale of, you know, even a small group. It was, yeah. it was nothing. So. All right. Let me do, let, I will talk to Dot because usually if, if, if we, even if we become an executive team by then, um, we will, we usually are with her. They usually combine us anyway. So we'd have to do something combination anyway. Um, so I will talk to her and, and then, and talk to her about what she come, you know, what kind of stuff she's gotten. But here's the cool thing is let's say her team has decided now they don't really want to do anything anyway. If, even if we're not an executive, I should just say when we're an executive by there, I should be very just when we're there, but I, you know, I don't want to like freak anybody out. So, um, but what I think is that we could have that room and go in there as dot, you know what I mean? So we could still have that. And maybe we do something where we have everybody bring a snack, you know what I mean? Like a bag of cookies or a bag of chips or, you know what I mean? Because if we're not, we can't do dinner, but who's going to say we can't bring like a little bag of something, you know, and it could be something people even pack. A um, bag of pizza. A bag of pizza, a little bag of salami for a sandwich, <laughs> a bag of salad. So, um, yeah, so that might be, um, so I will talk to her. That's a good thing. So we deal with that team time because I think we need to do something. If we can deal with um, conference um, with rooms. Now, here's the other thing. What I was thinking, because last year, remember, we did this too, that we had one person deal with all of the pillow presents, you know, all because we, Elaine, that's what we do too, is like, if you go, like, usually as directors, we give everybody a little something, a little goodie bag for conference, you know, and you can see all kinds of stuff on there. And what we've done is we've had one person. How do you guys feel about doing it for your own teams? So it's more personal, like you take your team, you do, like, you know what I mean? Like everybody do their own team kind of thing. I'm okay with that since I don't even have a clue what was done before. I know. I liked the fact that they were all the same though. Oh, you did. Okay. I, I do. Because I, I just think that 
it it does further this whole thing like because i've only got michelle going yes i want her to feel as part of this larger group okay i mean i get the idea I, you know me i'm very per, i'm very big on like team identity yeah, like yeah. but i think i think it's important that i don't know i think it's i think it's better that we all kind of look at each other as one group there Here's something really cool. I just want to tell you. I just saw that Christmas Tree Shop has fidget spinners for two ninety nine. Everywhere has them for two ninety nine. They do. My girls keep seeing them for seven ninety nine. I want to get them really cheap. Wouldn't it be cute to give everybody a fidget spinner? No, because I, I have no things. idea what a fidget spinner is. I didn't until recently, but I just thought it would be something. Well, here's another thing that we okay. So we need to have one person or a couple people. Um, in charge of doing that. Does somebody feel, oh my God, I got a cramp in my I mean, I don't mind doing it for my team, but I would just think it would be a, I think it would be good if there was a so we'll unified then, idea. Well, then let's have one person, well, I mean, well, let's do it so, oh, well, or we could have one, I don't mind doing it. I just have, I'm trying to think of, I mean, I could help somebody else put them together, but I'm just worried, like just, uh, you know, and then what we've done before is sort of said, okay, here's what the cost is per person. So, you know, if, if we do it, but I just want to be able to spread the wealth a little bit on, on what we're doing. You know what I mean? No, I don't understand the concern. What's the concern about having one person do it like we've done it in the past? Uh, nothing now, if that's okay, but I just don't want to be that person. That's a concern. Well, who was it? Was it Shannon last Sabrina. year? Sabrina. Remember she hauled that all from uh, Carolina. So, so we just need to find another person. Yes. Because Sabrina's not a director. Is that what you're right. saying? Right. Okay. She's Let's do that. When did that happen? Sabrina? Yeah. She's been like a been year. Absolute. She's it's been a year. Oh. Um okay. She brought it back for some reason. Is there anybody if so because we don't have all the directors on here either? Mm -hmm. I don't mind doing I don't mind doing it as long as I know enough in advance kind of what we want to do with it and if the road trippers can bring it down because I won't be able to yes. do it in the suitcase. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, that you're would like flexing your guns there, Jen. You were like I'm just, my back is killing me. I'm trying to stretch it out. <laughs> <laughs> but guns I mean, out, guns out. I think yeah, that's a good idea. Happy now, though. Jen, if you want to do that, I mean, that's fine. I was going to say that maybe if we kind of make a list, Anna, of different things that we need directors to do and then decide which directors want to do which things. Okay. I don't know. I'm just throwing that out there. Yeah, I mean, that's if, a good idea. Okay, so we need one director to um, deal with the um, driving situation. And Amy, Amy, since you are a, a um, you know exactly what to do and what not to do this time, like yeah. they can't get on the van unless they have money. Yeah, I still don't have money. Really? From, yes. So Amy's going to deal with, so, but that's something that we need. Amy needs to do, I'm going to deal with team time. We need um, somebody to deal with the um, conference gifts. The pillow presents? Yeah. Mm -hmm. We call them pillow presents, but we don't end up doing them as pillow presents, do we? What else do we need directors to do? What about housing? Didn't we have somebody? Or yeah, but we that's just... what we're just doing. We're going to do, there's too much going I'm on. Sorry, there's rooms all over the place. Some people have rooms already. So what we're going to do is I'm going to start, everybody's like in charge of your own team. But we're going to start a line of like a conversation that says, okay, you know, who, like Amy, you know, it's you and Michelle. So you got, you need somebody else with two room, you know, I mean, two people or whatever, you know what I mean? Like, but even if, but if you and I decide that I'm going in there with you and somebody else or whatever, then that's fine. But, you know, I want to make sure that we've got a line, but I think because we've got, you know, Jen, how, Jen, do you have anybody going? You don't? I thought you did. 
No. Okay. But, so, but that's what I'm just thinking. But then, I, and then Jen Gannon has at least a room plus. I have, um, I have, I don't know even know how many have, but like some of my people have already made room reservations. You know what I mean? So like, I think we should just like, I think it's too much and too many people for one director to deal with. So, okay. and because it's all over the place too. Okay, so we need somebody to do conference gifts. Um, now, are conference gifts, pillow present, and yes, these things, and it's all the same thing? Just yes, different same names? Thing. Yeah, okay. it's really a down list, and I keep thinking there's more and more things going on. Yeah, it's really a goodie bag. It's a, okay. yeah. What else have we had people do in the past? Oh, are we going to do a shirt or anything? Remember that whole thing last year? It was those little pocket things. Yeah, Shannon did those last year, right? Yeah. That's what Shannon took care of. I wish we had somebody, I bet you we have somebody really creative that could come up with like a logo to put on a shirt or something. What would you want on it? I, I don't, I'm, I'm like, a, I, see, I don't have any reference. So. No, I know. But like what, what happens is, is there, there'll be like okay. a, there's like a day usually, or it could be, we could pick our day that we're going to do it. But that like everybody in that one organization, like we've seen it before where they've all worn boas or they've worn um, aprons, you know, that all say like the whatever organization, you know what I mean? Something that like, that we could, you know, so like if there was a t-shirt and we had like a cool, and did you just give yours to the homestead, Amy? The pink one that had something around the table? Yeah, I might have. Yeah, I saw it. So I, so, but you know, so we, but those are like iron on, you know, we always do the best we can, but they don't really come out like. Well, because the issue has always been cost too, yeah. is to keep it, you know, to keep the cost down. Mm. So we tried to think about, I know that like at, in last year, I think Robin Schilling, she did, or not it, Robin, April Schilling did, um, there was a scarf that somehow said her organization, like they each wore a scarf or something. So it's just been trying to be sort of creative and, and I'm not that with this kind of thing. You know, one thing that could be something is but it, I mean, it's not everybody, but it's sort of like we tie out of here. In the past, we've done the, um, those pincher lobster claws as our, like everybody has one. And so like when we meet at the thing, you know, we can put them up and everybody knows that that's, you know, when you're in a throng of people, everybody can hold it up and that's what we know. But that would be fun if we each, what if we even didn't do that, but like we had a pole with something on the top, you know what I mean? That everybody could just put in their bag, but when we're standing around, you could just sort of hold it out and it says something. You know what I mean? It could be like cardstock on the, like Carrie's, have you seen this person? Do you happen to know this lady? Yeah. So will we have um, like name badges? Maybe we all have like a matching lanyard if we all have like name badges or something. That's what we did last year. Yeah. She had little um, things yes, you did. hanging right over there. But it's, that's what I'm wondering if, if we could tie our thing into two, if it could be that, that, you know, paint stick with something on the top of it, you know, something printed on cardstock that said, Yearling. <laughs> well, I don't know. I don't always, but it could be like the can do gang or something like that. You know what I mean? Like something, mm -hmm. something that talks about our team so that, you know, and it's, if it's brightly colored and oh. what the heck? Hmm. Um, hmm. But we just need to, we'd need to come up with a design and then just, but I think, you know, even if we printed that and then put that on, I mean, it would just take a, you know, getting it onto the stick that. I'm that picturing a, I'm picturing a can, you know, like with the can with like the open lid and the word do going across it. 
<laughs> can do. Oh, oh, we we're going to. You what? Uh, we have done that Mountain Dew when you when you put the can over the mountain. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. On the yeah, actual yeah. Mountain Dew can. Remember when you gave those out? Under yes. We could just pop that on the end of a stick. But no, I like that idea. So what, do you want to be our graphic designer, Elaine, and make that up, that logo? What would what would it turn into? I mean, would it turn into, um, I mean, you mentioned once something about iron-ons. I mean, I could print it on iron-on fabric, and we all have irons in our room, and we pick our favorite shirt and stick it on there. No, well, that not our favorite shirt, because then we can't take it off. <laughs> I know, that would be a hot mess. But what if we did it, what if it was printed on, like I'm saying, like cardstock? like about okay. this big, like in a circle, or, you know, if it was the can or whatever was big enough that if we put it on a paint stick, mm -hmm. that we each, everybody that came, you know, as part of sort of their goodie bag, everybody that had it so that they, that was their thing that when we're anywhere, we can hold that up. So if there was a group of people sitting over here, they could hold their, they, like we, because again, there's just thousands of people. So, mm -hmm. That would be a really good way. And if everybody, I can know in the past, we've always sort of had them hanging out of our bags, you know, the back of our bags or whatever. You just sort of have it peeking out the top. So it could sort of be two in one. It could be that trying to differentiate yourselves, but also everybody would have the same thing. Um, you're assuming we're all carrying large enough bags to hold this. You you're will. You're given a bag. We get a bag. Oh. You get one for going. So everybody usually does. Like you usually, that's what you carry around. Like, you know, you either put your purse in it or put your purse stuff or whatever. And is, you. Is it a fabric bag? It depends. Because we could always iron on our symbols to the fabric bag. I would not <laughs> trust that anybody's going to iron anything on at conference. If we have bags, I could do that. No, you're not doing that. No, the bags that we get normally, I'm trying to see if I have one nearby. They're, they're, really, nice. they're yeah. really nice Pampered Chef tote bags. We oh, don't okay. want to put anything on any okay. of them. And, and they're really the ones that you're probably going to want to carry around. So even if we gave them another bag, like, the, you know, because okay. we looked at that before, like to do a tote bag with something on the front of it, it just, it's not what people are going to use. Do you know what I mean? So okay. I think the stick idea from being at maybe 12 different conferences now, I think that the stick idea with something on the top is probably the best thing because it is really helpful when you have a really large group. Um, mm -hmm to be able to because it's a great way again of identifying hey this is everybody that's in the can do organization but it's also a great way of being able to find each other it's always the issue i mean anna's tall i'm taller but most people like you know jen ganyan they're just little peanuts and so they get lost in the crowd so it's really really helpful to have something to wave up in the air we can find each other really well um and i think it's also going to be an inexpensive thing and it's also you know i think it'll be i think that's a good a good thing to do Okay. No, I, like I said, I've never been, so I don't have any references of saying right. work right. just not. Yeah. What do, do you, how are you with doing like that graphic kind of design, Elaine? Do you want to give a shot at that? I have never done anything graphic. I am now learning how to, because I want to create my own images for posts. Yeah. Um, but I'm using, um, I don't even have a program yet. What am I using? Oh, what's this called? I'm using Publisher. Mm -hmm. So I'm not sure what I can do with that yet and what I can't. You can do a lot with Publisher. Okay. I so, think that's actually what I would usually do when I would do the designs for the t-shirts is I would use Publisher because because with the t-shirts, you actually have to, to print them out, you have to reverse yeah. it. Yeah. And that's why I always use that one. Okay, so Elaine. You're on the stick sign design. <laughs> okay, and I think that that's a good place to sort of start here. I think that again, we've got that deadline of the end of June coming up. So we just need to all make sure that we do more double checks back with our teams to sort of, you know, to see, make sure that it's not you know, something that we're missing that they're interested in doing. But I think, then what you're doing with that campaign is um, good. Does anybody have anything else to talk about with conference? 
I do. Yes. Um, what do the spouses do? Because <laughs> it doesn't sound like any of you are taking your husbands. No. We like to go <laughs> without them, Elaine. <laughs> we always like when there's other spouses that show up, but we don't. But, you know, in the past, what they've done is, um, I mean, you can, if you, are you, did you pay and register for him? I, I, I'm planning on, yes. I'm planning okay. on him registering as well. Yeah, so you're going to get double everything. You're going to get two bags. You're going to get two of everything, which is nice. You know, you're paying like freebies and stuff. You'll get two sets because he'll get one too. But I think he can just go into, he can just, you know, he'll just be absorbed in our team. You know what I mean? Like he'll, if he wants so to. he can have his own little pink stick? Sure. He can have his own goodie bag. He can have his own thing. Yeah. Because okay. that's what he would just yeah, hang we out. Michael. Huh? huh? We inherited Michael. Yes, mm -hmm. Sally Ann, which was a director, she brought, she would bring Michael, so she had brought him, yeah, and so he would go, he was like our bodyguard. So tell David that's what his job is. He's our, we'll give him a goodie bag if he be's our bodyguard. Okay. Unless is Jason going? I think he is. Me? No, uh, not your Jason. I was going to say, we can't get two, we can't get a whole weekend off together. Are you kidding? <laughs> You're talking but, about Jen's, you're talking about Jen Tagle's Jason. Yeah, Jason Donafrey. I think he's playing on going. That would be good. Um, Jen Tagle may not be able to go. Oh. But she said something about buying the live um, online event. My feed. Mm -hmm. Live yeah. feed. Well, and that's, I think, what we need to talk to our um, things. And Jen, if we put this on that, on the sort of internet, because we want to make sure that if they're not able to make it, that they go on and register for live feed. So they get to see, and now what they'll only get for live feed, I believe is the general session stuff. I don't think they'll get any conference kind of, you know, like um, breakout sessions, but they'll get to get. I don't uh, wanna put that out right away, only because if we can convince somebody to go, I want them to go. So. Oh, exactly. I wouldn't put it out until. No, no, I'm just meaning on the transcript right now for the director meeting. So if somebody just looks at it to say, okay, yeah, I need to be talking to everybody. If they're not going to make it, that they go on and register for the live feed. For transportation, for the driving, um, do we want to talk any more about that now, or do you, you and I can talk about that later? Uh, we can talk about it later. I think so. I don't think it, well, I don't know, unless you've got, anybody has people that want to drive. Well, I... What? Any, because nobody else here on the call is driving with us. That's why I right. thought we'd, we'd do it later. But That's somebody fine. might ha on this call might have. But you and I can talk it and then just put the information out. So if anybody has yes. people yes. that want to drive. Because I think yes. Jen Baldick is thinking about driving with us. Right, Elaine? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, she mentioned. So. Okay. All right, conference, are we done conference? Okay, so um, two other things we have going on and then we'll wrap it up. The one is that crazy train thing. <laughs> people, I mean, I don't know, are you guys seem to be, I've got, we have like a line of six people, I think, that have asked to want to join it and they're not allowed in. Like they're mm -hmm. just going to the thing and want to ask to be in it but I'm not letting them in because they have to be added by a director. <laughs> so right. yeah, like Krista, is Krista Boyle one of those people? I saw that there were a couple people the yeah. other day that were. Yeah, yeah, not, yeah they're not allowed in. So no. I just, so that to me shows that there's some excitement there. Um, what are, are you hearing anything on your teams or? Well, I'm talking up, I mean, I know Jessica was telling me, she's like, oh yeah, I'm going to be on it on Saturday. I'm closing a show, like this kind of thing. And it wasn't until Sunday, but whatever. Yeah. Um, I talked to my friend Barbara, who I met through LEAD, and yeah. um, she's having a hard time getting her team motivated to do anything, and so I told her about this, and she changed it a little bit in that she wanted to do, well, she's all about chickens, too. She's another crazy chicken lady, so yeah. Um, yeah. something about a basket, like all in the back. It just was about eggs in the basket, and that yeah. she actually has a basket, and she's putting their name into an egg, like an Easter egg, oh, and funny. putting it in so she can kind of show the basket getting bigger too. Do you know what I mean? Um, but one of the things that she said, which is true, 
and I've always kind of struggled with this, is that she's not doing just green because she refuses to work to those minimums. She wants them to do more than 150. So we talked it out and I said, well, you can make it whatever you want, you know, mm -hmm. and she's doing it that it has to be a show. Mm -hmm. So it has to be 200. Now, I know it's not, you know, a big difference there, but it's still like, I mean, it has to be a show, but she's also doing the first show that goes in of the month. Mm -hmm. She's doing two eggs. Mm -hmm. So they get like two chances in for the first show. Um, and then she's also doing every 500 in sales. So it's a little different because it's not just getting into the group and one thing. Right. She's giving them more things as they go along um, because she also needs to maintain directorship this month too. So she's trying to get as much sales from her team as well. Um, so she's doing for it. She's, she's figured it out and she's fine with doing this. I mean, it might be more confusing in our book, but she's doing for 500 in sales. They get one egg in, mm -hmm. um, for a thousand for when they reach a thousand, they get two more eggs in mm -hmm. when they reach 1500, they get three more because she's really going people. Cause she figures if they get to 500, it's not much more until they get to that 750 level. Right. And well, then she can get them to a thousand. Do you know what I mean? It's like those little tiny increments that she's working with them to build up to. And I love all that. What I'm thinking is that, again, I think you're right, that for an organization as big as we are, I think it's hard yeah. to do more than just, and really the whole point of it is to just create activity. Um, so why not do something like that with your eggs on your own team page? Right. You know what I mean? Like, I mean, you, I don't know if you need to start a whole nother group, if that's sort of, you know what I mean? Like this is something, and that's what we had talked about is like doing something organization wise, but then each of us have done different things about sending out, you know, happy mail or doing that. You know what I mean? You can, I, because I think that you're right. I mean, you want sort of in, in my, I sort of feel like, um, you know, we definitely want them to be working towards more, but at this point, there was a thing of just trying to get people to do something. You know what I mean? If this would just catch people just to do something um, and the people that are going to do eight shows are going to do eight shows regardless. Do you know what I mean? Like whether, um, so. She was just I, trying to get them to do more than 150 is I yeah, guess. Yeah. And I, and I get, I respect that too. I mean, I, yeah. I get it. Um, but, and, and I think that that might be something that if we get this going for, you know, six months or something and sort of reevaluate it again, um, uh, the one thing is, is that right now our focus so much has been on being green. And if somebody looks at what it means to be green, it's only 150. You know what I mean? Like that's where. Well, and that's why when she said she didn't want to just do the being active, you know, the 150. Right. That green, they don't know what green means. Yeah. They don't know what green means. Like green doesn't mean anything to them. It means something to us. It right. doesn't mean anything to them. What, if you're going to talk about being green by 15 to mean something for them, it's maybe that they're going to get that mid month paycheck. So therefore they're going to get some green, you know what right. I mean? Like right, right, right. Pull on it that way, because just sitting there trying to encourage somebody to be green by 15 when it doesn't mean anything to them. Yeah. Like, that's just, I think that's approaching it wrong. Yeah. Um, it's like talking about our director teams being green. Yeah, that they doesn't mean anything. What about though, but here's the thing though, do we say it has to be a show or do we just say it's 200? Because that, you know, I don't want, you've got people that are like, oh my God, I can't freaking get a show, but they're able to put in two half shows that are 200. You or know what I mean? Like I think you'd have to like watch about it. that. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. you don't want them to be discouraged. Well, let's do this. Let's see how this goes for a while. And again, what I, my original thought was, and I don't know who, you know, I'm sort of doing the drawings and right now, and literally it's going to be a $5 gift card. I mean, that's all I'm going to do is go to Dunkin' and get $5 gift cards and send them out. Like, I don't think it needs to be anything huge and I, I don't want it to be anything expensive. To send. Um, I have a little card that says, woohoo, it's, you know, you've won the whatever. Um, I don't know. I'd love to put out if another director would like to take and do the drawings, you know what I mean? And to do the month, I don't mind still pay, like I would reimburse you for putting, you know what I mean? Like I don't want it to be an added expense. I just think that it's 
a fun thing to have other directors involved and, you know, doing drawings and, you know, sending it out and doing that kind of thing. Does that make sense? And sort of running it. Nobody's signing up to do it next month. Well, let's do this. I'll put a thing on to see if somebody, why don't we put something out and say, um, Maybe Heidi would be good at that. She's all about the contest. Yeah. And isn't that so funny? She got her grill. I know. <laughs> Just quit bugging me about it. <laughs> hmm. What are we making her do? Well, we're not, I mean, we could make her do it, but I'm thinking about asking her, but somebody else, to, to do the um, crazy train drawing. Like somebody, like a, a certain director to take it on every, that group on every month, a different director. I don't mind doing it. Oh, that would be great, Jen. What, do you mind doing it next month? No, that's fine. Okay, thank you, Jen. So like yeah. every other day or, you know, but again, I don't think I started the first one till like the eighth or ninth or, you know, and then what I tried to do, and I was thinking about putting something else on, like that thing, I get them from Kristen, those LuLaRoe have great engagement kind of posts. And so that one that I put on there, like, what's the next word, you know, and I started with Nana, and they put all those different words. Like, that's what I was just doing, something fun like that for them. Um, and then the other point of that is that what, I was trying to think about what to do with that group and those people in there from the 15th till the end of the month. And I think that um, a good thing, what I'll probably do is set up some SynShare posts to go in there regarding how to get, you know, some tips maybe and reminders on specials and stuff to be able to get, um, to, for them to continue getting sales for the month. You know, not just stopping because they were green by the 15th. Um, mm -hmm. But that just so, so we'll sort of see how it goes, Jen. And then Jen, if you have any, um, Jen, how any other ideas as you're watching this month, you know, to think about, okay, how am I gonna do it next month? How will I handle that or whatever? Then, you know, we can sort of make changes and stuff for next month for it. Because I think people like it. They sort of think it's fun. Um, okay. So uh, speaking of having directors sign up for things, I just ran that strong start thing last night. So we need to get back onto a schedule. I think that the schedule that we started at uh, our director retreat has sort of run out anyway. So we need to really regroup and look at the um, our team meetings, our virtual team meetings, as well as our um, having a director run those a uh, new consultant strong starts because if you look at any one of them that people have run for the most part you've got several of them in there and they're pretty active like they see it they're they're making commitments they're setting goals they're you know so i think that they're a good thing does anybody have any other thoughts on it i'd like to see them happening once a month well, well, what we were doing is we were actually doing that. We've been doing them every other week, like okay. doing them twice oh. a month because we've been having enough new people come in. Um, mm -hmm. Do you think that's too many? I have no idea. I don't know. I don't think it's too many. I think we do need to do them twice a week. But I mean, I think like, um, I think that, um, Hold on, I can't see everybody now. I don't know what happened. Oh, there it is. Okay. Um, the uh, like I know I did it one time and I had like nobody on there, mm -hmm. which was fine. But I know that one of the things that's been that I feel like is missing from that is that it's too impersonal almost. Do you know what I mean? Like I don't feel like there's the follow up that needs to be there or something. Mm -hmm. um, hmm. Well, I, could, think, I don't think that that's, that may work well. That may be a format that works really well for some new consultants, mm -hmm. but it's not going to work well for every. Mm -hmm. So I think that sometimes new consultants need more than that. Like I've got Jean who can go on there and look at that, but she's still going to be on the phone with me 
Oh yeah. Well, those that, are, so that's what I'm saying is like, if those continue, we just can't as directors, we can't look at that as being the only oh, no. new consultant training that they're getting. And I think that that was kind of the trap we were falling into for a while. Like that, that was the new consultant training. I, here's what I'm seeing on them. And what I like is that they get to have interaction with a director other than their own. Mm -hmm. um, but also that they're in, and I know yours is unfortunate because nobody was on there, but that they get to have interaction with other new consultants from other teams. And well, and that was that, the problem. Is it wasn't even like that there was only one person on there. I mean, there was literally no one. Yeah. On there. Well, and I um, think, I think we're on a different momentum that we were then too, because uh, yours might have been the only one that we only had. We had nobody. I think it was like a weird lull, like towards the beginning. It was like yeah. in January or something. Yeah, yeah, it, yeah. It was. It was a while ago. I know that there's been a lot more more recently. Yeah, but really, I mean, I did it last night, and it. I mean, it really. I set it up. You know, if you have it set up in Sinchair Post My Party, like it takes two seconds to set it up, and then it's just like anything else. You just sort of jump in. But they were very interactive last night, and. Mm -hmm. um, but I guess what I, I what I like want to huh? I think it's like any other virtual party that you're going to have different groups that are going to be, yeah. you know, more interactive than any others. It's yeah. Well, well, Anna, I um I was talking, I was communicating with Erin this mm -hmm. morning, mm -hmm. and asked if she got a chance to look at it. Last night was not good for her, but I told her to go back, mm -hmm. scroll to the beginning look at every post because she because it's an event and she can do that on her own time mm -hmm. i said i said comment and ask questions I, and i told her well for the next 24 hours because you ran it anna i said for the next 24 hours both anna and i because i'm her director will be um looking for comments and questions so this will give me a really good idea to know how i can help you best Mm -hmm. because what areas is she doing what areas is she is you know she's finding easy and where is she thinking oh I didn't even know that this existed right um, I mean that was what I told her this morning yeah that's perfect so I, I like having them out there I mean even as a past event um, I don't think you can invite someone after the event has ended though no but again so if we're if we're doing it every two weeks, then it should be, you know what I mean? It, it's enough of a, that we can get new people in. So even if we have new consultants now that start this week, then, you know, that if a director is running it next week or the week after. Um, and again, what we've done is just sort of said, okay, this is your week, you pick your day um, mm -hmm. and sort of do uh, that. Okay, I'm gonna also look at the team meeting schedule and remind whoever is on next. And we probably need to redo that too. Okay, the only last thing um, that I wanted to just sort of give you guys an update on if you haven't been in the business builders, we're just finishing our last one for this group. So we just had our sixth call last night and we're, and again, exciting stuff's happening and then we're gonna start the next one on Sunday. So um, two things, if you have any new consultants or anybody that you think, again, how I put it out to them, and even if you've asked them in the past and they haven't really been like really into reach out to them again and say, hey, you know, I know that you've been picking up your business and you know, we've talked about this is, you know, you're really exciting stuff. There's this really great opportunity, this business builders. Um, you're it's six weeks. Your commitment is this call every Sunday night, and then um, you know, a coaching call with you know, you say with me because it's with you as their director once a week. Um, to just sort of do, but it would just really take them through the steps and to grow their business. So if you've got anybody to let me know or to add them to the, but let me know, but go ahead and add them too. Now, if they've gone through it two times, which I know Katrina's one, Jen, um, Jen Tagle is one. Um, I told them last night they're out. <laughs> they're freaking out. But it was sort of fun because it'd be great to sort of have them as accountability but I will reach out to both of them as well specifically and say, you know, you're on a roll, like, you know, this is what it mean. But I think we just have to be consistent with that or else we're just those people that are just sort of just still drifting around in there like we've had in the past. So I know we've got some new people to add in and some of those that have been through it are excited to be back on too. Um, anybody have questions or thoughts about that? 
<clears throat> but I think that it's really important, again, to have other directors do those trainings. So I'm going to put out there the schedule of what the calls are. If everybody, could, if you would please try to pick a, um, a topic that you feel comfortable with. Again, the outline for the training, if you don't feel like you can just do with what you regularly do, we have that like in a workbook. So you're not making up and recreating it. I just think it's so good for them to hear other directors, whether you've got people on the calls or not, but to be a part of that, um, I think is, is good for them to hear from other people other than just me all the time. So again, I just, you know, we all, just good for us all to work together because you guys are a lot smarter than I am. Right, Jen Hal? Are you driving, Jen Hal, or are you just sitting in the parking lot? Oh, I think she's frozen. Oh, there she is. I'm sitting in the parking lot at Dunkin' Donuts in Auburn. With your drink? Or are you waiting? I didn't get one because I wanted to make sure I was on their Wi-Fi. Oh, <laughs> so I'm just sitting in my car with the air conditioner on. I did have it running, but I turned it off and opened the windows. Oh, you did. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so we'll get that business builder set up. So there's just a lot I know to sort of look on, but and I'm hoping that I can we can get everybody to be um, involved. Because that has been a really, as everybody like like that format, or what are you guys feeling? I mean, we've been getting a lot of results out of it, I think. And for those that really do want to grow, like that's something we can offer as an organization for those people that really want the training and really just sort of, that's what I think it's turned into for a lot of people as an accountability group. They've really liked that um, too. I personally think it's terrific because I don't think I would have become a director without it. Mm. Um, and I like that it's every week because I know before then you had tried doing something every other week. Yeah. And and it was hard to mm -hmm. keep any kind kind of momentum because yeah. you had you had homework but you had two weeks to do it. Mm -hmm. So you could wait thirteen days and then try to cram everything into one day before the call. Right. Or you would just go to the call and hope you weren't being going to be picked on because you weren't going to be asked if you did your homework. It's kind of like going to school and not having your homework ready when the teacher calls on you. Exactly. Um, but having it every single week, it becomes part of your weekly routine. Yeah. That's what I think. I mean, we seem to have more. I mean, we pretty regularly have quite a few people on the call, you know, which is nice. I think more than in the past. By the time we have a sixth call last night, we had, what, 10 people on, I think. And then Terry's girl shows up right at the end because she's coming home from a party and she was so excited to tell us about it. So mm -hmm. she shot on like in the last minute, which was really fun because she wanted to be there at how our party went. So um, it's just really good good momentum i think going there and i like having it going through the summer because we know if we've got consultants that are plugged into something like this for the summer it's going to make their fall and you know finish through the summer a lot stronger mm -hmm. too so okay anybody have anything else that you would like to talk about i'm not nobody is making me pay them fifty dollars this past month what happened to our eight shows two recruits a month No recruit anybody. Well, how Crickets. come? How come? I don't know. <laughs> I'm hanging up now. No. <laughs> I didn't even have well, I got one. I'm working on another. However, I don't have eight shows. I submitted two, and I have nothing else booked the rest of the month. Elaine. And I, I spent the weekend, and I think I must have sent out 40 personal emails yeah and some personal text messages and i have not gotten any response i think it was too hot and sunny and beautiful all weekend and people just didn't care i mean it was in the 90s and and, and people are showing people pictures are of how they're on the beach and how they're on at the river and they're boating and just the only response that i got was not now. I got a couple for July. I got one for September. Well, that's good. But then you've got a lot of people that nothing, right? 
nothing. 80, 90% nothing. So I'm going to have to go back and um, figure out what my next step is going to be. And my your next step, your next step is yes. to say, so what do you think? Yeah. I actually did that today with a few of them. Good. <laughs> Good. But, well, I, that but I do have two recruits right, well, two potentials that I'm working working with right now. Good. Well, and that's it. You know, we said this last night on the call, it's only the 12th. Somebody had said that about getting an extra book. And there's Katrina was talking about that. She just had a dud. She had her eight booked, but she, one of them's dudding out. And I think it was Terry that said, it's still the 12th. It's only the 12th. So we've got plenty of time for the rest of the month. So... Okay. All right. Well, let's just keep going, guys. I mean, I think, again, we know how to handle our summers, and I know each of you talking with you. Oh, one other last thing. I'm going to start putting out. I have I've sort of rescheduled my, um, my week um, with when, because, again, going into the summer with kids and everything, I want to make sure that I've got a schedule. Wednesdays are my director days, um, and I know I tried to reach out with everybody to make a call at the beginning of the month because I would like to do that. I think what I'm going to do, because I'm not going to force anybody to schedule a call with me. I just want to make sure that you guys know that I'm available. And I've got some of you that we do have scheduled calls. Which is great. I think what I'm going to do at the beginning of the month, just sort of put out a Google form to each of you, just to sort of, what are you working on? You know, if it's just that kind of thing, you just want to give me your basic information, what's going on, you'd rather do that versus have a call, but I, again, it's more of like a, I just want to make sure that we're, we're handling stuff on record meetings that you want to have handled, that we're, um, you know, that you, we, I'm sort of aware of what's going on in your business so that I can help it if in any way or figure out, but, you know, but I know that everybody's busy and just to throw another call in if it's not really what you want to do is not always efficient either but so i'm trying to deal with that but wednesdays are me so if you need to have a call like message me and say you know if we don't have one scheduled already that wednesdays you know we could that that's my day for you guys specifically um that we could schedule something or we could you know or i'm planning trainings or doing that kind of thing so okay you'll well, have me down for nine o'clock on wednesday don't you worry you're on my calendar Yay. Don't you worry. All right, guys. Thank you guys so much. Um, I know this was late and a little bit out of crazy, but thanks for spending the hour and just sort of hashing through some stuff. Because again, I don't want to just make all these decisions without you guys, to, but to sort of have your input and work on it together. I do think that it's so important. The more we have coming in, to have other people see, and when you have new consultants coming in, that they see all of the support. I am running a virtual um, event, a virtual opportunity event Wednesday night. Um, I told, I've got some, we've got some people that have some people, and I'm fine, I don't mind just throwing those together and running them. So if you have anybody you wanna throw in, or if you've got teammates that you know have any leads, so I'll automatically invite you guys, um, you know, and then just, but. I don't want to invite the whole organization because then it's a big cluster. So I invite you guys. And then if you put out there, if you know you've got people that have leads, then you add them in and have them add their people in. That's how we'll handle those. When did you say it is again? Wednesday, Wednesday night. At? At uh, what time? At uh, what time? Probably 730 Maybe I don't know. I I would I hadn't set it up yet because I was trying okay. to get what I did get through the strong start last night before we set, I set up another group. So, uh, but event. But I'll do that right now. Um, okay, I'll wait for the invitation. But I I do have a couple people I want to send to it. Yeah, good. All right, all right. Thank you, girls. Thank you, Anna. Eight Thank and two. You, eight and two. Bye, eight and two. Eight and two. Better than two and two. Right. Eight and two. Eight shows, two consultants. Bye. All right. Bye, guys.